this video I'm going sh to show you how to shape the head of this pig I'm making but of course you can use this technique with any anything you're making so I took a needle which I already threaded so the pattern says to shape it um, in the in the seventh row and then seven stitches apart so we're gonna first uh, find out where we want the indents to be because the shaping is basically gonna be yeah making it look a bit more like this so making two little indents here so one two three four five six seven and then the other is going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, up here. So first I'm going to, I'm marking it with, uh, with some of these to make sure that I'm going to indent in the right, right place. And also I'm checking when I indent it here, it looks about right. So I'm going to um, get my needle and then uh, around the place where the first uh, first needle is stuck I'm going to attach the yarn just by doing this because it doesn't have to be like fully attached and I can remove the the pin. There's always knots in my yarn. So okay. And then going in here and going out on the other side and just try to keep it symmetrical. It looks about right. I can remove this one because I just do the pins but then in the end if it looks better if I'm doing something else I'll just do that because okay so now you see when I pinch this we get we get the shape we want so then I go in in another stitch and go out where the other indent is or like around the same the same place and also pinch this and then just kind of look okay does this look okay I personally I want my indent to be a bit bigger so I am going to where my stitch went out, I'm going to go um, one row further with my indent. So I'm going in here, and then go out on the other side. Yes, I think that looks that looks better. And then let's go in here again and go out where the other indent is and you can kind of go back and forth uh, until you get the shape that you want so I quite like how it's looking now so I basically did um, a little stitch here and then another stitch here um, because with, with one stitch I I didn't really like the shape of the indent, so I did another run. And then here we have these two. I just make one little knot, and then I'm going in here and out here and 
I'm now just using the, the rest. I'm just leaving to attach uh, the ears and stuff like that. And this side, I'm just gonna go through and then, um, cause I don't want that anymore. So I'm just gonna put it in the body of the pig. So here we can see we now have we now have a, a pig that doesn't have a fully round head anymore. Um, but it's yeah, it has a little shape. So that's it. The pattern of this this whole pig can be found on my uh, my website. So I'm gonna link that in the description. And this is the the finished pig that we end up with. So you can see they have the same kind of indents here. Um, and this one just needs uh, eyes and everything like that, but uh, this is the end result. <laughs>